This video covers Unit 2, Create System to Manage Information, May 2023, Caravan Park, and it's Activity 3C, that's the report. Let's have a look at what we've got to do for the report. We've got to create a report that shows a list of models. For each manufacturer, calculate the total number of models, the total number of models that have double glazing. Display a suitable report title, the manufacturer name, the model name, the number of people the model sleeps, the number of bedrooms, whether the model has double glazing or not, the total number of models for each manufacturer and the total number of models that have double glazing and the report must fit on one page. So I've got here a finished report for you to look at before we actually start creating it. Let's just go through these parts of the report, just make sure we've covered all that's required in the task. We're asked to create a report that shows a list of models. So we've got our models. And for each manufacturer, we need to calculate the total number of models and the total number of models that have double glazing. So in this report, I've grouped the data on the manufacturer. And that means I can put a header in for the manufacturer, which adds up the number of models and also adds up the number that are double glazed. And we were asked to provide a suitable report title. So I've called it Manufacturer Model Report. We need to display the manufacturer name. So here's the manufacturer name. This is a heading, all right, manufacturer name, and this is actual data here. The model name, again, a heading, and the actual models here. The number of people it sleeps, so again, the heading number sleeps, and then for each model, the number that it sleeps. And the number of bedrooms, again, a heading, and the number of bedrooms. And whether the model has got double glazing or not, so again, a heading and whether it's double glazing or not. Now these column headings here I've actually put in at the page header so if this was a multi-page report those headings would appear at the top of each page and then at the bottom of the report we are asked to provide the total number of models for each manufacturer. Now I've put the total number of models in the manufacturer heading and then the total number of models that have double glazing. It doesn't say for each manufacturer, so I've put that in the end of the report, and that's in the report footer, so that only appears at the end of the report. Now, the other thing to note at this point is, and if you've seen any of my previous videos, I've used the same formatting. You need to go into this exam with a clear idea of how your report's going to look and what formatting features you're going to use. You don't need to do a lot, and I suggest that you use quite a limited palette of colour, otherwise your reports can look quite amateurish. And the types of things I've done is things like I've increased the size maybe of text, I've used bold, I've made sure the headings are clear and that you can read everything and there's no truncation of any text. And then I've used lines in the report just to break it up to make it easier to read for the user. Now, these formatting features that you use in your report, you need to use in the forms in part B as well. Uh, you need to be consistent that your report and your forms have got the same formatting. The first thing to do when you're creating this report is to create a query which is going to select the data that's going into your report. You can probably do it in the report, but it's a lot easier to do it first in a query and then use the query in your report. So I've added the tables to get the manufacturer name from TBL manufacturer, the model name from TBL model, the number of sleeps from TBL model, the number of bedrooms, from TBL model and whether it's double glazed or not. 
and you can save that with just a short name like QRY report so you know which query it is. And if we just have a look at this in datasheet view, you can see now it's selected the records that are going to appear in our report. Just take note, we've got one Barnaby, two Leisure Seeker and two for Swallow. So to create the report, I went on to create and then use the report wizard. And here we must make sure we've chosen the query that we did previously. And this is the data that's going to go into the report. And we need all the fields. And you'll notice now that our data is going to be grouped on manufacturer name, which is what we want because we want to be able to do those totals for each manufacturer. We could do some further grouping here, but I don't think that's required and any sorting not required in this report. I've left all these other fields as the defaults. Just make sure it's on portrait. And the title for your report, at the minute, it's got TBL Manufacturer, but we can change that when we actually go into the report design. And then you can preview the report. And initially, this is what comes up. It's a very sort of rudimentary report and uh, one thing that the examiner often reports back is that students just uh, leave the reports like this but you can improve them a great deal by editing the report now that you've got. I'll just go through some very quick formatting of this report and just explain one or two things as we're going along. I'll now put on the text boxes which are going to add up the number of models for each manufacturer and the number that have double glazing. And this is going in the manufacturer name header so it will do it for each manufacturer. To count the total models, we're going to put in a formula into the control box. So equals count start will count all the records for this manufacturer. And for the total double glazed, we need to use an if function. So in the expression builder, I've keyed in equals sum, open bracket, if, I, I, F. So all this is going to do is add up if, and then we're looking in the double glazing field. And if that's equal to yes, then we're going to add one. But if it's not equal to yes, we're going to add nothing and then close the two brackets. OK, so this is the report now in report view and you can see we're nearly there. Just a few things uh, to change. One, to take off the border around the boxes. Two, to take off these banded rows. 
I'd rate putting some lines to divide the report up and then fourthly to add the total to the bottom. So in the total double glazed models, we need to put in a formula to count up the number that are double glazed. Now, because this is in the report footer, we can use the same formula that we used in the manufacturing name heading, and that will carry out the same calculation, but this time for the whole report. So here we've got the report so far in report view and just looking at this just to finish this off I would make sure these numbers in this column are aligned just makes it look a bit neater and similar with this double glazing column as well. So I'm going to do this in layout view just find it a little bit easier to move things around. And then finally, I just do a little bit more formatting with the use of colour. So here we've got the final report. Just make sure this double glazing uh, if works. So for Barnaby, we've got one model, which is double glazed, so that's one. For Leisure Seeker, we've got two models. They're both double glazed, so that's two. And then for Swallow, again, we've got two models. One's only double glazed, so we've got one in the double glazing count for the manufacturer. And then in total, we've got four that are double glazed. So that's one, two, three, four. And just to finish off activity three, you're going to evidence the report using the activity three template. You have already done the evidence of the queries previously, but for this, you need to make sure you've got screen prints which cover the design of any query that you've created, designed for the report, and also data sheet views for the query that you've created and used in the report. Make sure you save your query and report evidence as PDF in your folder using the file name activity3 underscore registration number underscore surname underscore first letter of first name. And then finally for activity3, you're going to save your database report, not a screen print, but the actual report itself as a PDF and put that in your folder for submission. And the file name for that is activity3d underscore 
registration number underscore surname underscore first letter of first name. So if you click on the tab for your report and go into print preview, you can then select PDF to save, publish the report as a PDF. Follow the instructions and make sure you save it in the correct folder. So that completes activity three. Before I finish, I just quickly want to show you the activity uh, template completed for activity three. So the first part covers query one. You need to show that in design view and also the data sheet view as well. Just make sure that the examiner can see all the detail in your screen prints. And we've got query two. Again, you need the design view. Just make sure you widen these columns in your database so that the examiner can read everything in each column in your design view. And there we've got the data sheet view. Then got the report in design view. And again, I've put in all the detail, I've put in the property sheets to show any calculations. There are other ways of doing this. You could widen the control, for example, or show it like this. There's further detail showing the calculations. And then also the design view of the query that we used in the report and the data sheet view of the query in the report. So that completes activity three. The next video will look at testing.